hello student in this video we will see another article in unit number 4 previously in unit number 4 we have seen performance matrix in the last video we completed performance matrix such as speed up and efficiency speed up and efficiency are very important performance metric for analytical modeling of parallel program in today's video we will see parallel time speed up and efficiency example so very important and famous example of uh, uh, age detection so as shown in this figure the 8 by 8 image is shown in the figure a and in figure b a typical templates for detecting the ages and in figure c partitioning of the image across four processor with shaded region indicating image data must be communicated from neighboring processor to processor 1 now see here what is a, a example what is this parallel time speed up and efficiency example in the last video we have seen what is parallel time that is tp what is speed up that is capital s and what is efficiency that is capital e so parallel time is a total time taken by the processing element start up time to actual completion of that example or that operation by all the processing element that is parallel time tp okay so uh, this parallel time and speed up is what speed speed up is the ratio of total time taken by the serial computers to complete any operation to the total time taken by the parallel computer to solve the same example that is speed up so speed up yes is equal to uh, ts by tp so total serial time by total parallel time is a speed up and efficiency is the ratio of speed up by processing element so speed up divided by processing element that is small p gives us the efficiency now the example of all these things parallel time speed up and efficiency is uh, we will discuss in the today's lecture so given an n by n pixel image uh, note down that this is a example of age detection on images so given an n by n pixel image the problem of detecting the corresponding to apply a 3 by 3 templates to each pixel the process of applying the template corresponding corresponds to multiplying pixel value with corresponding template value and summing across the template that is convolution operation this process is shown in this figure figure a along with typical template as shown in figure b that is a middle part of this figure since we have nine multiply add operation for each pixel if each multiply add takes time tc the entire operation takes time 9 tc n square on serial computer a simple parallel algorithm for this problem partition the image equally across the processing element and each processing element applies the template to its own sub image note that for applying the template to boundary pixel the processing element must get the data that is assigned to adjoining processing element specifically if the processing element is assigned a vertically sliced sub image of dimension n by np it must access the single layer of n pixel from processing element to left and single layer of n pixel from processing element to right as shown in figure c so on the message passing machine the algorithm execute in two step first step exchange the layer of n pixel with each of the two adjoining processing element and in second step apply template on local sub image the first step involves two n words message assuming each pixel takes word to communicate rgb data this takes time to in bracket ts plus twn the second step takes 
time 9 tc n square by p the total time for the algorithm therefore given by tp equal to n tc n square by p plus 2 in bracket ts plus twn okay now this is the total time for this example age detection of image okay the corresponding value of speed up and efficiency are given as speed up is given as 9 tc n square divided by n t 9 tc n square by p plus 2 in bracket ts plus twn as shown in this formula the speed up of this example and the efficiency is calculated as e is equal to s by p so now we can substitute the value of uh, s so we get the final efficiency 1 by 1 plus 2p in bracket ts plus twn divided by n tc n square so student parallel time speed up and efficiency for age detection example one possible parallelization partition the image equally into vertical segment each with n square by p pixel so we have partition this into n square by p pixel the boundary of each segment is 2n pixel this is also the number of pixel value that will have to communicate it this takes the time 2 in bracket ts plus twn the template may now be applied to all n square by p pixel in time ts equal to 9 tc n square by p so this is the uh, age detection example where figure a shows the 8 by 8 image and b is the typical template for detecting the ages this is a typical template this is standard and c is partition the image across four processor with shaded region indicating the image data that must be communicated from neighboring processor to processor a so why this partitioning is done because that is our decomposition method so we get the ts is 9 tc n square by p after getting the ts we can calculate the tp the total time for the algorithm is therefore tp as shown here and the speed up and the efficiency of the example is given okay now cost of the parallel system so we define the cost of solving the problem on parallel system as a product of parallel run time and the number of processing element used so what is the cost cost of solving the problem on parallel system is given by product of parallel run time and the number of processing element used that is t into tp cost reflects the sum of the time that each processing element spends solving the problem efficiency can also be expressed as the ratio of execution time of the fastest known sequential algorithm for solving a problem to the cost of solving the same problem on p processing element okay so the cost of solving the problem on single processing element is the execution time of the fastest known sequential algorithm the parallel system is said to be cost optimal if the cost of solving the problem on parallel computer has the same asymptotic growth in big o term as the function of the input size as the fastest known sequential algorithm on single processing element since the efficiency is the ratio of sequential cost to the parallel cost a cost optimal parallel system has the efficiency big o of 1 the cost is sometimes referred as work or processor time product and the cost optimal system is also known as ptp optimal system so dear student cost of the parallel system can be calculated as p into tp that is cost is the product of parallel run time and the number of processing element used the cost reflect the sum of the time that each processing element spends solving the problem a parallel system is said to be cost optimal if the cost of solving the problem on parallel computer is asymptotically identical to serial cost so since efficiency can be calculated ts by ptp the cost optimal system 
e equal to big o of 1 the cost is also referred as work or the processor time product now cost of parallel system consider one example is given here consider the problem of adding n numbers on n processor that is our previous example okay so the algorithm given in that example for adding n numbers on n processing element has a processor time big o of n log n since the serial runtime of this operation is big o of n the algorithm is not cost optimal okay so if you remember we discussed in the earlier videos the adding n numbers on n processor so we have the total parallel time for this operation log n p is equal to n the cost of the system is given by ppp equal to n log n since the serial runtime of this operation is big o of m so the algorithm is not cost optimal so this is very good example of uh, cost optimal here in adding n number of n processor our algorithm is not cost optimal okay so there are another example also uh, that is sorting algorithm that we have seen the bubble sort and the quick sort that algorithm is also a non cost optimal algorithms so whereas this is not the case always that the algorithms are not cost optimal many cases we can get the optimal cost cost optimal algorithm also so uh, this is the end of this article where we learn the example of parallel time speed up and efficiency the example age detection on the images and also we discuss the cost optimal and non cost optimal articles okay thank you very much